Hi, it's Richard from FunFit Adventure, and today we're going to have a look at this, which is the Kickass High Precision Watt Meter and Power Analyzer. So I'll show you why I've got this and what I've got in my setup at the minute. So I've got my solar panel down here, which is a projector 80 watt solar panel. We've previously reviewed this in one of our last videos. And then solar panel is connected into the trailer, into the toolbox here. And the solar panel goes straight into my straight into my batteries. So there's a solar controller in the in the solar panels and uh, just connects via an Anderson connector straight in. So um, what I can have a look at is I've got a, a Victron energy battery management system down here. And if I just have a look and see what the solar panels kicking in, it tells me there's 2.36 amps coming from that, uh, that solar panel into the batteries. Although that's not always true because the battery monitor is measuring the current across a shunt that I've got in here. And of course, if the fridge kicks in or we've got some power draw elsewhere in the trailer, then that is taking off what's coming in through the solar panel and showing me how many amps are either going in or being taken out of the batteries. So, um, so it gives me a, an idea of where we are with things when it's um, measuring the battery. So what this is for, I'll show you it in action. So inside the box, that's the, um, that's the watt meter just there. It comes with two Anderson connectors either side. Um, pretty good quality case on it. Nice rubberized solid solid case. And, um, and then on the bottom here, we've got a, a little uh, instruction guide telling you, telling you how to use it. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in line between the solar panel and the trailer. So we disconnect the Anderson sockets I've got here. And we have a look on the, um, on the watt meter. There's um, the source and the load. Source being the, the solar panel. So plug the solar panel in this end, straight forward on the Anderson connector. And then I'll plug the load end in, which is the two batteries in the trailer, into that side there. So what I can see now, if you want to come and have a look at the, the meter here. If you can see that, uh, what that's now telling me is that uh, from the solar panels, you can see the, the reading down the bottom here, I'm getting 32.5 watts or so from the, from the solar panel. And um, it's also telling me that I'm getting 2.4 or so, 2.5 amps. And the, the voltage that it's shown here is actually the voltage of the, the batteries inside, inside the trailer. And then on the bottom left, there's a scrolling display. And that scrolling display is showing you the, um, the VM, the minimum voltage, um, amp hours, the total amps charge, uh, AP, which is the peak amps, WP, which is the peak watts, and KWH, which is the total watt hours. So that's what the little scrolling display is showing you there. So why I find this useful is that I can actually have a look and see what, um, what power the solar panel is outputting. So we can see um, at the minute now that's telling me 49.6 watts is coming from my solar panel. So 80 watt solar panel, getting about 50 watts from it at about, um, well, 10 to two in the, in the afternoon. And um, so I can keep an eye on what I've got coming in, but also I can see what, um, what amps it's kicking out as well. So at the minute we've got 3.7 amps coming from this which of course my battery monitor is not going to tell me when I've got load, which, um, which I do have all the time because the fridge is, fridge is always on. Um, so I can never tell whether that's actually coming from the, the solar panel or not. So what I normally do, I don't normally plug this in like this. I actually normally just hang the, the watt meter directly inside the Anderson connector in the toolbox. And that way, as soon as you open the lid, you can see, I can have a look at the battery monitor at a glance, and then I can see, have a look at this screen, which lights up as well so when you're looking at it in the evening as soon as you open that box you can see the you can see the display so um so if you really if you're interested in seeing what um what output you're getting from your solar panel and um, then this works really well it doesn't have to be a solar panel of course you can use this for measuring um watts across whichever circuit that you want to to do it with but it's a nice bit of kit 
from Kickass, um, which is australiandirect.com.au. If you liked our video, then please subscribe to us on www.funfitadventure.com. You can subscribe and get our weekly newsletter, or you can also follow us on Facebook and, uh, and join our YouTube channel, as well as Instagram.